This time, we're going to make use of the LV5 for something different. Let's look at the setup. First thing first, we still got the fish tank. Above the fish tank, we set up a C stand. Initially, we want to hang a wet towel at the end of the grip arm. We mount the camera on the main photos tripod and aim it at the center of the tank. Please notice that there is a V5 attached to the camera's horseshoe. Next, we need to mark the focus where the shot will occur. We have then changed our plan with the grip arm, which you will see later. Here we're using a portable flash with a handmade snoot, but what you don't see is we have mounted a blue filter on it. Our gear obviously includes a pair of LV5. At the other side of the fish tank is the sensor. After we turn on the emitter and sensor, the laser beam passes through the fish tank. To make things work, we got to move the emitter so that the laser can hit the sensor on target. So when we drop something in the water, the laser will be blocked. Note that this time we're using the delay function of the LV5. To use the delay function, find the select dial at the other side of the sensor and set the delay value. Please note that each dial position corresponds to the delay value. For example, the dial position 3 equals to 2 milliseconds. And the sticker version of the table can be found in the LV5 package for your reference. To start shooting, we use the edge of the grip arm as a reference point for the water droplet. In a second, you will see how the photos look like. With the blue lighting, water droplets can look more abstract and intriguing. The reason we're using the delay function is because we're not capturing the droplets. In fact, if you set a delay time, the camera is going to capture a moment later than the event actually happens. By squeezing the sponge, we block the laser with water droplets and trigger the camera for an event that will occur. And that is the water splash. Then we change the camera angle trying to get some different shots. Let's try shooting with the lights off. This is the test shot. Then we got some more shots with bigger droplets. Can you figure out how we did this? Maybe you can try it yourselves. 